Hey everyone, it's Tim Holtz and I'm here at Sizzix headquarters. Now, I always love pairing my stamps and dies, but did you know we've actually customized our new Entomology Framelit set specifically for the detail of these stamps? Let me show you what I mean. The great thing about this Entomology Framelit set is it cuts out all of the great detail of these insects, these butterflies and moths and ladybugs, all of the cool things, but not only the body, also the legs and the antenna. And this, of course, pairs up with the Entomology stamp set from Stampers Anonymous. And all of the great detail in this imagery is lined up perfectly with the dies to achieve this kind of perfection. Take a look at that. Not only do we cut out, of course, the shape, but look at all of this great detail in each and every single one of these. And let me show you the trick to really making a perfect cut every time with this specific set. So, of course, we're going to start with a piece of cardstock. Now, when we start with cardstock, it's whatever kind of cardstock you want to work with. It could be smooth cardstock, it could be watercolor cardstock. Then you're just going to take a stamp. I'll just choose one, it doesn't really matter. And I always like to stamp in permanent ink. That's just me. And the reason I do this is because I'm of the mind that I like to stamp my image first and then decide later how I want to color it. But whatever works. If you're already working on a colorful background, that's fine. But I like to stamp with a permanent ink, I'm just using archival, but it could be any kind of ink that you want to use, really. And then you're just going to go in and stamp your image, right? Pretty simple. Just go in, stamp that image, gives you really nice detail. Now here's the thing, I'll go in and actually stamp several of those, but I'll make sure that I leave some space on my piece of paper. The reason I do this is because then I like to go in with my scissors and I'll cut this out into chunks, right? Just chunks of paper and you can see that each one of these has kind of a, a frame around it, allowing me to place my die perfectly. And then what you're going to do is choose your subject. And we've got, of course, all of these uh, great little framelits. And you can see here that just the designs alone, even if you didn't pair this set up with a stamp, is going to give you a great detailed shape. But you're going to find the matching framelit for this, and then we're going to line it up. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take your stamped image and your framelit, just going to place it down and line it up. And of course, it's blade side down. And first thing, I just want to make sure that the body is kind of visible through the window. But then you're going to see here these little dots on the outside. Now these are poke holes, but they're also registration marks. So I'm just going to line these up and I want to make sure that I can see the black through the dot. And that's because we can see the stamped image underneath. Now if it was off register at all, right, if we shifted this, see how you can see that those dots, especially the ones on the bottom, they change from black to white. So obviously if you're working on colored cardstock or a background, it might be a little trickier than just starting with white cardstock. But what you're just going to do is make sure that all of those marks, every single dot on there, all has black showing through, and then you're guaranteed that your image is right underneath your die. So I'm just going to make sure that everything is lined up, and then I'm just going to hold that and get a piece of washi tape. Now you could do washi tape or any kind of tape that's just going to help secure your die, because we want to make sure that this isn't going to shift, and I'm just going to tape that across, and then we're just going to run it through. Now, of course, you can run it through your Big Shot, your Vagabond. This is small enough so I can use my Sidekick. So I'm just going to take that, place it between my two cutting pads, right, just like that. And I want to make sure that it's kind of centered and always a good idea just to kind of shift your die at a slight angle. And then we're just going to put this right in, and we're going to just run this through. And we're just going to carefully peel this off. Now, I will tell you a, a few tricks, and I'll bring in uh, the sample that I did for the packaging because, you know, one of the things, especially when I'm stamping and die cutting things, you know, maybe it's 90% there, maybe it's not, but that's why I like to start working with my white cardstock first. So I'm just going to take that out, just going to go in with my pick, and just start, I press down to the body first, and then I'm going to go into those holes and just release the paper. Because remember, you know, the whole technology with this framelit set is it's really cutting these thin, thin details. So I want to make sure that all those little legs and antennas and everything are released from the die. So then I'm just going to press that out. And then I just like to flip this over. And again, just use my die pick and just kind of follow the die, whatever it wants to do. I'm just going to carefully remove that and pop that out. Are you kidding me? Take a look at that, right? I'll even hold this up just so you can see. Look at the detail. It cut out all of those little stamped legs and antenna. All of that detail is cut. That is unbelievable. So small, like shout out to Sizzix, right? Amazing technology. And this is the thing, of course, if you go and cut this out and let's say it doesn't line up perfectly. That's why I like to start with white cardstock because if you see here, I'll bring this one back in just to show you. 
Once you go in and add some coloring, whether you're doing ink or markers or watercolor, you can really color any of that white space that maybe didn't line up perfectly with the dye, but it's cool to know that it can. So that is the did you know secret behind the entomology framelits and stamps from Sizzix.